Thank you. It's your voice, your vote. A handful of competitive districts will likely determine the balance of power in Virginia. And one of the most closely watched races is right here in Hampton Roads. State Senator Monty Mason and former Yoke Pocosin Sheriff, York Pocosin Sheriff Danny Diggs are battling to represent Senate District 24. Alex Little Hales and Allison Basil are live on the peninsula covering this key race. And Alex, you caught up with Mason today. Dan, we did. He told us that he's prepared for today. He's been knocking on doors all weekend long. He is making his way, his circuit around from Newport News to York County. Now we know that he is circling the Williamsburg precincts before he heads to his watch party tonight here in Williamsburg. And as you said, this is a closely watched race. And it's not just political experts that are saying it's close because the numbers bear that out too. The latest campaign finance reports show that both campaigns, both Monty Mason and Danny Diggs have fundraised roughly $9 million in total fundraising efforts, more than half of that going to political ads. So uh, like you said, Mason was in the area today. We caught up with him at Queens Lake Middle School here roughly two hours before polls closed. This is why he's optimistic heading into tonight. It, it is my first race with early voting. Sure. So so making the calculations of what percentage of the precinct had already voted. Hey, thanks for coming out to vote, sir. Remember, 65% of the district I've represented for the last 10 years. Um, well, in the last seven years in the Senate and a really good part of it in the House of Delegates for three before. And early voting data shows that there is a lot higher early voter turnout for the York County and Williamsburg areas compared to that in Newport News. We will be following the Monty Mason campaign all throughout the night and we'll keep you updated with the latest information. Live in Williamsburg, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. Thanks, Alex. Of course, we have team coverage on this pivotal race. Allison Basil caught up with voters in Newport News about the issues driving them to the polls. Allison, what are they telling you? Well, Dan, voters say they are coming out to do their civic duty. And as the clock ticks closer to seven, we've seen a lot more people heading inside here to Yates Elementary School in Newport News to cast their ballots. And they have a lot of help. You can hear a DJ here and some even dancing their way inside with this DJ pumping them up at this site. Now, as, as Alex Littlehales mentioned, a big race in this area is Senate District 24, and that's between incumbent Democrat Senator Monty Mason and former York, York Pocosin Sheriff Republican Danny digs. Newport News voters make up about 50% of this newly drawn district. It also encompasses parts of York County, Williamsburg, Pocosin, and James City County. Some voters in Newport News have the Senate 23 race on their ballot. Senator Mamie Locke is running unopposed in that one, and many of the voters say they aren't too familiar with the candidates on the ballot, but they wanted to exercise their right. I want to make sure I vote, make my voice heard. Yeah, got, got to be responsible and get out there and vote. Even though in Hampton it wasn't a whole bunch of options, but it doesn't matter how many options it is. If I have the opportunity to vote, I'm, I'm going to take full advantage of it. And Virginia DJs at the polls is behind the music you hear. The organization has DJs at polling locations across Virginia, and the DJ at this location says he is taking requests, so make sure to come out and vote. You have until 7. Live in Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Yeah, all right. Sounds like you got the fun assignment of the night. Allison, thanks. for are having fun out there, and we will help you stay informed throughout election night. You can get results on races in Virginia and North Carolina by texting the word RESULTS to 757-628-6 6200. Remember to text, don't call. You can also get those live results tonight on 13 News Now at 11. All right, you may notice additional items on the ballot depending on where you live. For instance, Gloucester County residents are voting on a bond referendum for a proposed tax increase. They're deciding whether to allow the county to increase the real estate tax by two cents to fund a series of capital improvement projects, including a fire station and fixing up an elementary school. If the bond referendum is approved by voters, county officials expect to begin some of these projects as early as the spring of 2024.